graders and welcome to Skills Block Day 31, Words Rule. Our learning target for the day, I can identify one and two syllable words in a shared text poem that share the same spelling pattern at the end. I can read and identify the schwa sound and spell words with the A-T-E pattern. Now let's read the poem line by line. Open up your ears to find the rhyme. When we read together, we sound great. Listen up to the rhymes we make. Today we're gonna read a poem together. First, you will follow along as I read. Then we will read it together and think about the words that we read. The chocolate on my plate. I had some chocolate on my plate. I felt so fortunate. I'm sure you can relate. One day I went to skate with my friends Nate and Kate. When we got back home, it was really quite late. I was ready for that chocolate. It's the ultimate dessert, but things turned desperate. I was unable to locate my private chocolate bar that had been sitting on my plate. Who ate my chocolate? A pirate and his first mate? Oh, now I remember. I had been a considerate friend and shared it all this morning with Nate and Kate. Great job. Now let's read this poem aloud together. While we're reading, we can practice our rules of fluency so that we read smoothly, with expression, with meaning, and at just the right speed. The chocolate on my plate. I had some chocolate on my plate. I felt so fortunate. I'm sure you can relate. One day I went to skate with my friends Nate and Kate. We, when we got back home, I was, it was really quite late. I was ready for that chocolate. It's the ultimate dessert, but things turned desperate. I was unable to locate my private chocolate bar that had been sitting on my plate. Who ate my chocolate? A pirate and his first mate? Oh, now I remember. I had been a considerate friend and shared it all this morning with Nate and Kate. Great job reading, friends. Now take a minute to read the poem to yourself while you think about words that share the same sound. See if you can find some words that all share the same sound and you'll share it with me in a moment. Great job reading it by yourself. Now, what were some words that shared the same sound? That's great. Plate, relate, Nate and Kate, fortunate, chocolate. They're words containing A-T-E at the end. Let's look a little bit more into these words. There's chocolate. Plate. Notice they all have the A-T-E ending. Fortunate. Relate. Skate. Nate. Kate. Late. Chocolate. Desperate. Locate. Plate. Chocolate, mate, considerate, Nate and Kate again. That's great. So all these words all have the same spelling pattern at the end. Let's take a closer look at the words that you found. Can you take a closer look, a closer look, a closer look? Can you take a closer look at these words today? Your turn. Yes, we'll take a closer look, a closer look, a closer look. Yes, we'll take a closer look to group the words today. Great job. All these words have the letters A-T-E at the end, but something seems different about the sound the vowel letter A is making. Let's see if we can figure that out. Listen as I read the words again and think about how you would group them 
based on the sound the letters A-T-E make at the end of the words. Chocolate, plate, fortunate, relate, skate, Nate, Kate, late, ultimate, desperate, locate, private, eight, pirate, mate, and considerate. What did you notice about the sound the letters A-T-E make in these words? That's right. Sometimes they sound a little bit like it, like in chocolate. And sometimes they say at or eight, like in plates. We have our T chart. Let's first look at the word relate. How many syllables do we hear in the word relate? Relate. That's right, we hear two syllables. And what is the first syllable that you hear in relate? Re, great. What's the second syllable? Relate, late. What vowel sound do you hear in that second syllable? A, late, a. What is making the letter A say its name? Or having it have a long A sound? That's right, the, the magic E at the end. We know that the magic E in this syllable makes the vowel A say its name. That means that relate needs to come in our first column, CVCE or magic E. Notice too that when we say relate, that was one of our words that the ATE is saying eight. So let's look at some of our other ones. Our next word is pirate. How many syllables do we hear in the word pirate? Pirate, two syllables. What is our first syllable? Pirate, pi, good job. And the second syllable is eight. What vowel sound do you hear in the second syllable? That's right, it's a little like it. You hear pirate and you're hearing it at the end. Wait a minute, there's a magic E at the end of this syllable, but we don't hear the long A sound like we did in relate. This syllable isn't following the magic E rule like it should. The letter A in the A-T-E pattern in the word pirate is making a schwa sound. It sounds a little like I or I. That means that pirate belongs in our schwa column. We have words that are spelled with A-T-E at the end and pronounce it like pirate. The words that say the it sound at the end and have a schwa will go on our schwa column. Most of the time when we see the pattern A-T-E, the A makes the sound we would expect it to say. A at, plate, but sometimes it makes the schwa sound. If you're not sure, you can try both eight and it and see which one makes a real word. So let's try some more. Our next word is chocolate, chocolate. Say it to yourself and see which column do you think this word belongs in. That's right, chocolate belongs in our schwa because the A-T-E is making the it sound. Make sure you write this word down in your column also so you're practicing saying and spelling the word. Our next word is plate. Plate. That's right, plate is following our magic E because it's saying our long E sound. A, plate. Our next word is fortunate, fortunate. That's right, fortunate is another schwa because the A-T-E is saying it. Skate, skate. Great job, another magic E. It's saying the long A, eight. 
Nate. Great job. I hope you're starting to hear the A sound or the it sound. Kate. Another long A magic E. Late. Ultimate. Ultimate. Great job. Even though it ends with that schwa sound with it, it's spelled with an A-T-E. Desperate. Desperate. Great job. Another schwa. Locate. Good job. Only a few more. Private. Private. Great work. Eight. Considerate. And mate. Wonderful job organizing our words. Let's reflect on our learning. What does it mean to be independent? What does it mean to be an independent reader? What knowledge and skills do you have now that you did not have earlier in the year? How did you acquire that knowledge or skill? Great work today, second graders. We'll see you again tomorrow.